So you've read the title, and are probably wondering, what thing brought back in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is my favorite? Is it following Pokemon that was surprisingly absent in Legends Arceus? Is it breakable TMs? Is it Skiddo? It is none of those. My favorite thing they brought back is evolutions to past Pokemon. You might call me crazy, but hear me out. Giving new evolutions to past Pokemon grants that Pokemon and its line a new boost to power and competitive viability. Take Nosepass, for example. In Gen 3, it would be silly to use one. A fully evolved rock type with a base stat total of 375. Mediocre Pokemon introduced with no evolutionary family feel pretty useless. This is why, in the very next generation, Probopass was introduced. But Nosepass was not the only Pokemon to get a new evolution. Others did as well, such as Lickitung, Murkrow, Aprom, and many more. 19 in total, actually. This not only boosts the competitive viability of these new Pokemon's evolutions, but now allows the pre-evolved forms to make use of the Eviolite item, an item that boosts both the user's defense stats by 50%. This makes Pokemon like Dusclops and Porygon 2 holding the Eviolite run wild in each Pokemon's metagame they appear in. Now it's weird that they haven't added new evolutions for past Pokemon from Black and White to Sword and Shield other than Sylveon, who was only created to show off the new Fairy type. That is why I have almost given up hope that all past Pokemon would be stuck with lost potential. That is until Sword and Shield was released, where new Galarian forms were evolving into completely new Pokemon. Six new Pokemon that evolved from Galarian forms. This was a step in the right direction, but we weren't quite there yet. I still couldn't bring a Yamask from Black and White and then evolve it into a Runarigus or give the Eviolite item. Now in comes Legends Arceus, and with it, seven brand new Pokemon, which were evolving from past Pokemon. Ursaring was evolving into Ursaluna. Not a Hisuian Ursaring, but a Jotonian Ursaring. Same thing for Weirdeer and Scyther. I could take my Scyther from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, transfer it to Legends Arceus through Pokemon Home, and then evolve it into the brand new Pokemon Cleavor. I was ecstatic. However, I thought this could be one-time occurrence. I thought it could have been a reference to the Pokemon given evolutions back in Diamond and Pearl because Legends Arceus takes place in that same region, Sinnoh. I thought Game Freak was just showing how the Sinnoh region gives the potential for Pokemon to evolve past what was previously thought to be possible. I was nervously awaiting the arrival of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to see if past Pokemon would evolve. And they did. Dudon Sparse, King Gambit, Annihilate, and Fergarath. All past Pokemon who are now able to evolve. I hope in the future we will receive more evolutions of Pokemon that desperately need them. And hopefully if the trend keeps up, we'll have Doo 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 Dunsparce by Generation 16.